To balance this equation, H2O2 yields O2 plus H2O. We'll first count up the atoms on each side of the equation. On the reactant side, hydrogen, we have two, and oxygen, we also have two. Over here on the product side, hydrogen, we have two of those, and then oxygen, we have two right here, but we also have to count this. So if there's nothing written, it means there's a one there. That's implied. So we have the two plus the one, and that gives us three oxygens on the product side. So the hydrogens, we have two on each side. Those are balanced. The oxygens, we have a three, and then we have that two there on the reactants. So what we can do whenever I have an odd number, I like to get that odd number of oxygens to an even number. And I can do that by multiplying it by two. So let's put a two in front of the H2O and see how that changes the oxygens. So we've put a two in front of the H2O. That means we've also changed the hydrogen. So two times two here, that equals four. So we have four hydrogens, but we can deal with that. And then oxygens, we have the two here, plus now we have two times the one, two oxygens, which gives us four oxygens. So now we have an even number that's gonna help us out. Let's go back to the reactant side. We have two hydrogens and two oxygens, and we want both of those to be four. If we put a two in front of the H2O2, we'll have two times the two here. That equals four, so the hydrogens are balanced. And then two times the two oxygens, that also equals four. So at this point, all of the atoms on both sides of the equations are the same. We're obeying the law of conservation of mass. In this equation, it's balanced. The thing that catches people on this problem, this particular chemical equation, is we have the two oxygens here, but then they forget about the one oxygen here. So we need to add all these oxygens up on the product side in order to solve this chemical equation. Also remember that if you have an odd number of oxygens, sometimes multiplying it by two will make the chemical equation much easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2O2 yields O2 plus H2O, and thanks for watching.